I'm Andy Hilton of Recruit 757 here with Coach Stack, Bill Stakelski, Cox High School. Bill, you've uh, been here for years. You've seen teams come and go. How does this team look different than anything you've had before? Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference. Uh, I like the fact that they have uh, quite a bit of experience coming back from last year. A lot of guys uh, on the offense um, who played and got a lot of reps last year. So things are going pretty smoothly so far. Just trying to get our installs done and um, trying to improve our defense and uh, get a, kind of a new crop of special teams guys going, kickers and punters. So we definitely have our work cut out for us here at the beginning of the season. Well, Beach District title, if I remember correctly, two years ago. Strong finish last year. Uh, the beach is probably going to be more hotly contended than ever this mm -hmm. year with an influx of talent. What are you seeing in terms of your competition? How do you feel like you might stack up? I think, uh, as usual, it's going to be tough every game. You know, we, I know we start out with Bayside. Uh, I don't know our schedule after that, but I know they uh, gave it to us good last year. So that's been our focus uh, this entire offseason is trying to get back, uh, back on par with them and uh, kind of revenge that massive defeat we had last year and you always want to start off the first game positive so uh bayside's been the focus we got two scrimmages coming up against kings fork and grassfield who are great teams uh from chesapeake good competition and suffolk i mean of course um but uh right now it's just all about teaching fundamentals we got a lot of young kids we have a jv team that really uh uh isn't quite groomed not a lot of returners from last year so we're actually spending a lot of time with the jv team uh up with the varsity trying to get them in the same drills and seeing the same things we're doing to try to install offense and defense together but um the competition is going to be tough i mean i know ocean lakes is loaded at bayside like i mentioned salem lanstown um tallwood and uh we didn't do that great last year we were six and four i think in the regular season so we got some games to avenge and um, we're just going to take it one week at a time. And I, th I think we got a pretty good uh, squad, though, well, to you stay healthy. You mentioned competition. Of course, you've got some challenging scrimmages. And that Bayside opener is going to be a challenge. Oh, What's yeah. going to happen between now and I think we're two weeks away from scrimmages, between yeah. that first scrim scrimmage in terms of position competition and how kids are going to earn their spot? Uh, it all happens right here in practice. You know, we got a lot of coaches with eyes on everyone. And uh, we evaluate every day after practice. Um, fortunately, like I said, we have some experience uh, on the offensive side of the ball, and we got some positions that are, I wouldn't say locked up, but we think we know who, we, who fit in. But uh, finding that depth is really where we've always struggled, especially on the offensive and defensive line and at linebacker this year. So uh, there are some good competitions. we got our first day of uh, you know, board drills coming up here on Saturday. We're going to really get after it in full pads, scrimmage each other on Saturday afternoon. And um, you know, assess the film from there, and um, and then we got Kings Fork, like I said, in Grassfield. But we got some time to work things out, move some guys around if we have to. We're doing a lot of uh, you know um, co-teaching in terms of uh, teaching guys more than one position. You know, Tavion, I know is going to play quarterback, but he'll be playing some slot or wide receiver, safety and corner. We got Leno, who's playing a little offense and defense. Uh, Jackson Morgan, we can move around the defensive line. So we have some uh, some quality kids that uh, that are learning more than one position and that's that's kind of what we have to do in order to stay um, you know keep a healthy depth chart.